plants. Let's talk about it. So people ask me how I get my pothos so full indoors in an extremely low light area. So I'm in this kitchen right now and it's really low light. I mean, it's, there's like walls. I mean, so I'm in this building in Chicago and there's walls on, I don't, this num number one is the north side window. Um, there's, there's a wall. <laughs> like there's another story above me and then there's a wall on this side and there's a wall on the other side. So I'm kind of surrounded by walls. There's really not a ton of light that gets into this space. So all I do to keep this, I mean, number one, it's growing, yes, it keeps growing slowly. But how do I get it so full? The answer is that I keep cutting it and then I'll, I'll put them in some water. They'll, they'll root and then once they root, I will plant them back into the planter. So it really fills it out. And because I'm using this self-watering planter, I don't have to worry about watering it every day. Because if it was, if it was a planter that didn't let water sit at the bottom, I would have to water this quite a lot. But I generally have to water this every two weeks. Maybe, yeah, every two or three weeks I water this. And I'll just put the water in here. If the soil on top feels really dry, I'll water it from the top. But that's it. And it's so easy. Just keep cutting stuff. And, it, and that works for not only pothos, but most other hanging plants that you could just cut them, root them, put them in the dirt. Or depending on the plant, cut them, put them in the dirt. So just keep filling it out, getting them really dense. I'm gonna put a link to that planter in the description.